Hello, and this is a uh, square root calculator. Uh, it calculates the exact square roots of an in of any number that you input into it. It's pretty slow, but it gets the job done. So uh, here are the inputs. I'll go over how to input later, but we'll just do 13. Uh, actually, what's 13? Yeah, we'll do 13 then. Uh, inputting is really kind of weird, so it's not very intuitive. I'm gonna, I'll explain it. And start, reset, press the start button here. So um, it does find the exact square root. It's not uh, an approximation. It does it uh, digit by digit, so yeah. And you could do this by hand if you don't have a calculator. Although, doing the guess and check methods probably, I would think, faster and easier. There's less room for, or less, uh, yeah, less room for error. Um, but basically, uh, I can't explain the algorithm very well, but I'll try my best here. I'll put a link in the description to where I was basically took my notes on it. Um, so basically, the number here, where is it here? Here, goes into the shift registers, um, and it goes in, and it, it shifts by two. That's just how the algorithm is. There's actually a similar algorithm for uh, cube roots, and you shift by three instead of two, which is uh, cool. So, um, so you shift by two, and then it, it'll basically tell you, okay, or try to find out, okay, so what's the biggest square root that can go into this number? And because in binary there's only, uh, what's it, four numbers that are 2-bit, so that's 0, 1, 2, and 3. So then it'll pretty much put a 1 out, but it'll go through all the logic, and uh, I, I know how it works, but I can't explain it. It's just one of those things. So it does that, and it'll basically send a 1 out, and go through all this crap and a one will pop up here. I I promise that that's correct. Um, and then uh, it'll, once it does that, um, it gets the difference, puts it back into there, and then, because uh, these are all subtractors, I forgot to mention that, um, and yeah, so then it goes back shifts that by two, then it subtracts it from the answer, and then once again checks if it'll subtract Call completely, to me 58 has connected. then it'll uh, wonder, or not wonder, but it'll check, okay, will it go completely or not, and then just like now it'll be a zero, so then a zero will go through into the answer. Um, yeah, I, that's an awful explanation, but if you go through like how this algorithm works then it's actually really cool that it how that works I don't really know how it works I just know it does um, actually children school children in like the 60s and 70s before uh, like calculators and stuff maybe even slide rolls I don't know um, they use this algorithm which is pretty cool um, yeah it's yes, once again it's really slow and the answer is in binary I can't help that I actually have a binary to BCD converter out over there somewhere but um, it's just so large that it would look kind of unruly with this uh, but yeah I mean it's not hard to look up the square root, so I used uh, Wolfram Alpha to check my answers when I was making this. Like I put like square root of whatever in binary and it, I hopefully it gave out the right answers because that's what I've been using to check. So I'm about as correct as Wolfram Alpha, which is pretty good I would say. Uh, in terms of optimization, I did a poor job. I wasn't interested in getting things as quick as possible. You can tell by the very large clock. Um, 
I don't, I don't, I don't really care about speed. I just want to get things done, if that makes sense. Uh, this is by far the slowest, probably one of the slowest ways to get square roots, though. Um, I looked into other ways, such as uh, Newton's method, which gets answers surprisingly fast, and um, it, yeah, I mean, the this answer would be very, in terms of iterations, it would get, like, the amount of times the algorithm has to work, it would be very fast, but it uses division, and that would pretty much be like a lot slower than what it is now so it'd be like 10 times slower per iteration I'm just pulling that number out of my head but yeah uh, yeah another one was uh, what I looked up was with uh, what calculators actually use and then they use some weird identity that's like e to the ln x over 2 and I frankly do not know uh, an efficient way to do natural logs or exponentials, so I trashed that. And I already knew this kind of thing existed, but um, I didn't. I don't really know if that was the best way to go about it. So what did we do? Square root of thirteen. So that's a three. So that's correct. Can't say about the rest though. Probably is though, without a doubt. Um, yeah. I would I would put a converter here, but I mean it's so large, and I know there is a small one, but uh, that's not updated for this version of Minecraft, and I would have to do a lot of little tweaks, and I just don't want to do that. Uh, so yeah, so if you have any questions or comments, just ask away. I'll answer to the best of my ability. So if you plan to download the map save or the MC edit schematic that I will have in the download link or download link the description, um, then you'll probably want to know how to input numbers. And this is just how the algorithm is. I didn't decide this would be the way it is. This is really awful and inefficient, not intuitive at all. So um, how you do it? So. When you get a number, uh, you want to divide it into pairs. So let's say you get a number that's like 13, like we just did. Um, uh, it's That's four digits, right? So it's one, one, zero, one. And that that's four, and that's even. So that's pretty easy. So then you just put it in like that. So it's one, one, and then just imagine a space here, zero, one. And that's easy and then uh, then your decimal and this is also just how the algorithm is because it shifts twice um, which is, I don't know anyway uh, so what you do is basically count the amount of pairs you have so one two so one two and that's your decimal uh, for odd numbers it's not that much harder but like uh, six, not six. Let's do uh, seven. If for odd numbers like seven, which are one one one, if you do this, that's one one space here one zero, right? And that would be what's that? Eight plus four, fourteen. Yeah, that'd be fourteen, and uh, that's wrong, obviously. So what you would do is you would put a zero at the front of the number so when you pair it up it's zero one 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 and then that's seven so decimals the same way count the amount of pairs and you put your two there or your decimal not your two uh, yeah that's about it for inputting oh and when you're done inputting or yeah when you have put your number and your decimal in press this because what it does is it puts it into the shift register so that you can still see your number after it's been put in. I don't know if there's a better way to do that, but that's how I do it. I like it.